Hi, it's uh, Rob from LabBook, and we're here at LabCon 2023, and I'm with Lucy from Oddbottles. Hi, Lucy. Hi, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And today we're going to be looking at some, at some of the things that you're making. So you've got a range of spicy and savoury... Um... Yeah, range of savoury and sweet preserves, yep. all, all sorts, um, made in the last two weeks. Um, sold out of one yesterday, yep. and um, that's, that's always the one that goes first. Which one's that? It's the... Um, Bramley apple and lemon curd. Yes, yeah. I've got. So, a, so that's a that's a big one. To go, that's a big yeah, one then. That immediately goes. Right. Well, should we try some of these? You can, uh, you can try it anyway. Okay. Yeah, I will yeah. do. Yep. Yeah. I, I am ready. By the way, folks. Got tester sticks. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah. let's just grab a little bit of that, and you can use the other end of the stick in other jars. Oh, that's nice. That is really... It's really smooth, isn't it? Really smooth. And there's a little spice, a little, little thing to it. And the, on top, there's a bit of a caramel note. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, Thank I you. see why that sells out fast. That's, that's, yeah, the, that, that's the, delicious. The next one I'd get you to try is uh, spicy apple butter, which okay. is slightly strange. It doesn't have any butter in it, but that's the description of the thing. Okay, butter with no butter. Got it. If you imagine apple strudel in a jar, oh. you've got the other end, the dry end of the stick. I will be sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You can use both ends as long as it's like we, not, not double sure. dipping. No, I don't do that. Excellent. Apple strudel. Apple strudel. That is apple strudel. Yeah. <laughs> that really is apple strudel. I love. I, I love. I love apple strudel. Yeah. Sorry. Great awesome. reaction. Yeah. Love that. Um, what's next? Okay. Uh, well, the next strongest thing, because otherwise you won't taste the next one. So this is. I tried to get blood oranges. Yep couldn't get them anywhere so um, I found cara cara um, oranges which are a type of navel orange yep um, and they're <coughs> red on the inside yeah um, but they're okay. very refreshing and there's a top note of strawberry believe okay. it or not although okay. there's no strawberry in it yeah stronger that is, that's, that's really strongly orange yeah so there's masses of flavour, but it's quite light, and then you've got this strawberry yeah. on top. You've got that little, it's, it kind of goes, <laughs> yeah. bing, and then, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. yeah I like. um, then there's the Seville orange marmalade. Okay. And Seville oranges are naturally more bitter. Okay, then. You might have to scoop around, because that's a bit harder that's a bit, set. That's a bit harder set, that's okay. There we go, we're good. Okay. It's got a, <coughs> a yeah. harder, darker. That's, that's tougher, harder. Uh, I, I need some toast. Can somebody <laughs> give me some toast? <laughs> yes, and that's great. Last, this, this is an experimental batch. It's, <coughs> uh, I only did a tiny batch, like five jars. Yeah. Seville, orange, lime, and coriander. So coriander seed. Um, and I've asked people for feedback. Okay. Um, I'm and the general feedback has been that I need to use a less strong orange and maybe slightly more lime. Because I think I can see Seville, where they're coming from. I'm, it's, yeah. it's, 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 I'm getting mostly orange, but I know there's other stuff yeah. in there, but it's mostly orange. Yeah, yeah. It's the Seville orange overpowers it a bit. Yeah. So those are all the sweet things. Okay then. Um, should have spiced apple butter. Probably the one to start you with yeah. is the. Okay. Caramelized onion chutney, which is really good with cheese or okay. sausages or um, roast things. Okay, let's try that. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Yes, it's going to get me block of cheddar right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that would absolutely be perfect. Then that one, yep. which is rhubarb, orange, and date chutney. Okay. And everyone thinks, people either love or hate rhubarb. Yeah. Um, somebody called it a name yesterday, which I can't repeat. Um, okay. <laughs> but it, it's, this is really balanced. You've got, the, the rhubarb gives it a lot of texture and fruitiness. Yeah. The orange adds a citrus note and the dates give it a lot of warmth. But overall, it's very balanced. That's really smooth and, that's really smooth and nice, actually, yeah. Yeah. I could really see me using that. Yeah. I've had people eat it from the jar. I can understand. I could understand. I could, yeah. I could get a spoon on that uh, quite easily. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that's. Hmm. Um, 
the That's delicious. Next one is it says hot and spicy plum chutney. Okay. But Bird. it's it's a warm heat that just makes you feel cozy. It's not a spicy mm. oh my god, this is too hot heat. I got you. Let's try that. Oh yeah, there's a kind of spicy curryness to it. But like it's so cheap. But it's not curl up with some meat some But it's not uh, extra some, curry, is no, it? It's, it's not it's subtle. No, it's not extra it's, it's, it's like plummy and sweet and a warm for the curry. So I could really curl up with a bunch of cheese and um, and, and cut meats right now. <laughs> yeah. Um the last one, mm -hmm. bear in mind uh, piccalilli normally needs to rest for four to six weeks okay. to mature yeah. and that takes the edge off the vinegariness. However, <clears throat> I only made this a week ago. But I make it with cider apple vinegar yeah. for two reasons. One is that it's uh, less severe than malt vinegar. And also malt vinegar, a yeah. lot of people have wheat allergies. So using cider vinegar ah, alleviates that. That's smart, so yeah. So it might be, a, I'll, I'll give that, you to, that to you. I can to, see why it's a little so bitter. You, if you dig out the piece of veg that you want, the veg should be really crunchy. It is quite, yeah, it, it is. It well, might, it is really big veg but it might still have a little bit of an edge because it's not had time to mature yet. Yep, but yep. some people like it like that. Mm. That's really crunchy. Um, I actually do quite like it like that. It's, it's, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know not everyone likes I know piccoli. It's, I know it should be a bit more smooth, but I, yeah, I, I got a thing for piccoli. Yeah. Um, that, that having that say, on a sandwich or something would be that's, yeah, that's really nice. That's why I spent literally hours cutting it up that tiny. Yeah, that would be, that's a really nice, that's a really nice sort of thickness and crunchiness. Yeah, so like it's, that very much. it's small enough to just spread on a sandwich and yeah, uh, rather than being extra, extra. You want extra, put it into something though. Oh, lovely, yeah. Okay, well, this is uh, Rob and I'm with Lucy from Odd Bottles. Uh, really very much trying your stuff. I've just really enjoyed that. And thank you all very much for, for watching. Thank you. But the, the labels that are on my products and the poster are done by my brother, Giles Meakin, who's also got his artwork on display at LARPCon. Cool. Thanks.